Bitcoin is the best performing asset of your lifetime. What is it? How does it work? And why does it have such a suspicious reputation? In the last 10 years, Bitcoin's price has surged 590,000%. To put this into perspective, if you invested at $1,000 10 years ago, it would be worth over 5 million today. Compare that to the second best performing asset, Tesla, which only did 12,000%. Bitcoin did 49 times better. In this video, I'll explain Bitcoin and blockchain in the best way you've ever heard so you can finally understand what's going on. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a digital currency. It's like a dollar, pound, or euro that you keep online. But it's not the same as the online dollars in your bank account because of two reasons. One, it's decentralized, and two, it's scarce. Decentralized means nobody controls it. All currencies before Bitcoin were owned and controlled by national government. The US government prints US dollars. The UK government prints British pounds. But Bitcoin is different. No centralized authority owns or controls it, so it's decentralized. More on that in a little bit. It is also scarce. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins in existence. There will never be any more than that. This gives it value because based on economic principles, given demand, if we have low supply, its price goes up. No wonder it gained a whopping 156% in 2023 alone. What's the catch? Why does it have such a suspicious reputation? Well, it's brand new. And with most brand new things, there is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. We tend not to trust things we don't understand. And with something as complicated as decentralized money, there's a lot to cover. Also, it's volatile, which means its price changes a lot. Newbies sometimes accidentally buy in when it's overvalued. Then when its price comes back down, they end up losing money. So to recap, Bitcoin is an online currency that is not controlled by any one country. With Bitcoin, when we go to pay someone, we pay them directly and not through an intermediary. But how does it work? How does this magic internet money function just between us? Well, it's all done by computers. Millions of strong computers are constantly processing Bitcoin transactions to keep Bitcoin secure and legit. That's what Bitcoin miners are. You've probably heard the term. Bitcoin miners are the computers that process these transactions. Think of them as policemen. Here, let me give an example. Let's say Benny wants to send three Bitcoins to Kath. I click send, and now all these computers get a notification that Benny wants to send three Bitcoins to Kath. The computers, Bitcoin miners, check to make sure I have three Bitcoins, then subtract three Bitcoins from my account and add three Bitcoins to Kath's account. They also make sure I'm not a virus or malware to keep everything legit and secure. Then, at the end of the day, they all receive a tiny amount of Bitcoins for doing their job. To put it simply, Bitcoin miners are just the computers that process the transactions. They're like policemen that double check everything, make sure you're not a virus and then get paid at the end of the day for helping. Anyone can become a Bitcoin miner. Right now, you can download a computer program to automatically start processing Bitcoin transactions and collect a reward at the end of the day. Many regular people like you and me mine Bitcoin as a way to make money and in turn end up helping secure Bitcoin. That's why Bitcoin is decentralized. It's people like us that download mining software that actually run Bitcoin. But we can't talk about Bitcoin without talking about blockchain. What is a blockchain? Guys, a blockchain is just a giant list of transactions. January 1st, Benny pays three Bitcoins to Kath. January 3rd, Addy pays one Bitcoin to Betsy, and so on. But instead of your name, it's your wallet's name. And wallet names are big, ugly jumbles of numbers and letters. The purpose of the blockchain is that it keeps track of of who sent money to whom and what everyone's account balances are. The blockchain informs Bitcoin miners how much money each person has. So when I connect my computer to Bitcoin, my computer automatically downloads a copy of the blockchain and now it knows, oh, Josh sent five Bitcoins to Benny last year, so he does have enough to send three to Kath. 
Think of the blockchain as a Google Doc that's shared with all the other miners. When one computer makes an edit on the Google Doc or blockchain, all the other miners can see it right away. Each transaction, Benny pays calf, is one block, and the entire document is the blockchain. But there's a rule computers must follow before editing the blockchain. You can't just edit it because you want to. Before the Bitcoin miners add your transaction to the blockchain, they must first solve a randomly generated math puzzle. Think of it as doing a cap Whoever solves the math puzzle first gets to record your transaction. So, as a final recap, I click send to send three bitcoins to Kath. The miners receive my request and double check it. They all do a math puzzle and whoever solves it first gets to record my transaction onto the blockchain. Kath then receives my three bitcoins. Congratulations, you're now all caught up with Bitcoin and blockchain technology. But you still don't know why anyone would use it or why it's so valuable. The truth is, this is groundbreaking, revolutionary technology that will dominate the future. Click on the recommended video where I'll explain why it's so valuable and so revolutionary. Guys, I'm Benny, a crypto tutor and crypto tech support agent at thecryptonerd.net. So if you want help with anything, give me a call. Our goal is to help people understand and interact with crypto better. Subscribe to Crypto Nerd if this video helped you understand crypto a little bit better and share with a friend so that they can understand it better too. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.